In this video, I'm going to show you how to create YouTube ads that convert, and this is based on something like $8 million in spend on YouTube. So we've tested a lot of different ads, we've scripted a lot of different ads, and our ads have generated over eight figures in revenue. So hopefully this will be of use to you. If you could hit that like button and smash that subscribe button, I'd appreciate it because that's going to motivate me to put out more videos like this for you. So the first part of creating a really high converting YouTube ad that converts is to create the script. So the way we script ads is very, very specific. What we do is we have a formula that we follow. The first part of this formula is the hook. So the hook grabs your attention and gives them a reason to keep watching. As you can imagine, right now in our world, we have so many things coming at us from every single direction that it's really hard for us to pay attention. And a hook kind of does that. It grabs the viewer's attention so they watch the rest of the ad. So a hook could be anything. It could be, for example, uh, for one of our clients, he'll actually wave his hands in front of the camera being like, hey, hey, hey. It could be a statement that's like basically aimed at your target audience. So the statement could be something like, hey, do you want to learn how to start an Amazon FBA store and get to seven figures by the end of this year? So something of that regard where you're hitting your target audience with exactly what they might want and you're grabbing their attention that way by just you know being aligned with their wants and needs. And you really wanna grab their attention the first five seconds. I've seen really great hooks, like people smashing mugs on the table, people uh, burning books in front of the camera. I think Russell Brunson did that. He, had, he was burning his own book in front of the camera. So there's a lot of different types of hooks you can use. Now the second part is you want to qualify them. You want to make sure that the people who are watching your video are actually the people who are really interested in your video. So for example, if you're selling a health product and that this product helps people with a stomach issue, you want to make sure that people know that this product is for them. So what we'll do for a qualifier is something like, hey, listen, if you have stomach pain or if you've dealt with stomach issues in the past, keep watching this video. And if you're perfectly healthy, skip this video because this is not for you. And that's because on YouTube, a lot of times, you know, you're getting charged on 30 second views or interactions with the ad. And if you're getting people who are not interested who are not your target audience watching the whole ad and your view rate is higher then you're going to be paying a lot more for your clicks so it makes sense to kind of disqualify the people who are not interested now after that you actually want to build some credibility and tell them why you know they should listen to you so for example in the case of somebody selling a product on how to heal stomach issues you could have the credibility be like hey i'm uh I'm a doctor at who's got a, you know like a MD from this hospital and I have had this experience and I've treated over X number of people and I've been featured in Forbes and Huffington Post etc. So you want to kind of give them that credibility so they actually know why they should trust you and then from there on you want to tell them what the actual offer is. And when I mean the offer, uh, whatever the next step in the funnel is. So after they click the ad, if they go to a free webinar or a, a lead magnet, you want to tell them what that is. So you want to tell them, hey, I've prepared this free presentation for you and this is what you're going to learn. These are the benefits you're going to get from this free webinar. So it's going to teach you how to do X, Y, Z. And you want to make sure it's very congruent with your landing page copy. You want to make sure your video ad preps them mentally for opting into your landing page. Now the step, uh, next step after that is after you explained it and they know what your offer is and you're going to tell them hey click the link above or below and then go to the next page and do exactly what you want them to do so go to the next page and opt in for this webinar where i'll teach you xyz so this is the first call to action right so you want to give basically prime their mind to take the action that you want them to take by verbally saying it so after the first call to action we like to have some social proofs so we might actually use a clip from somebody who's used your product and then put that in the videos and basically you know have a testimonial in there so that portion could be something like hey if you don't believe me here are the results Juan got with my program so you can kind of see that it's legitimate and basically giving social proof you're adding testimonials you can also do screenshots of customer reviews the main thing is you want to have some sort of social proof that shows that other people have been through this free training and gotten great results and then you want to have another call to action there to really get them to opt in and yeah, having at least two call to actions will definitely help and will increase 
you know, your click-through rate as well as conversion rates. So yeah, that's how you script the video ad portion. And you, we can go a lot more in depth into that. I have another video here which where we actually show you how to script a video ad, but this gives you kind of the high level. So let's talk about the second part of how to script high converting video ads. So now that you've scripted your video ad, you want to shoot your video ad. Now this really depends on if you're an e-commerce or an info product brand. If you're an info product seller, it's super easy. You just get your iPhone out, shoot a selfie video ad, maybe get a gimbal so there's no uh, vibration or you know basically it's stable, but it's pretty easy to do that. And honestly, you can do it on your phone. You can even have a videographer, but it's pretty simple because all you gotta do is just talk in front of a camera and just follow the script and follow that script to a letter and use a teleprompter perhaps if that helps you. Now, the second part of this is if you're an e-commerce brand or you're working with an e-commerce client. So this is actually a little trickier because you actually have a product and you need to showcase your product. So if you have an e-commerce product, you want to find a videographer or a video production agency that can help you with shooting this. So a few ways you can do this is you can go on Fiverr, on Upwork, etc. You can find videographers, you can send them the product and ship it to them and then you can also send them the video ad script and maybe work on storyboarding it with them. So you might have to tell them, hey, this is how it looks like scene by scene. And e-commerce video ads are going to be different because instead of just being a script, you're gonna have like visual scenes as well where the product is shown and the product is demonstrated. So we also like to use websites like backstage.com which has a lot of like uh, acting talent on there and often they'll do the whole video by themselves. So the main thing is to just make sure they have the script and the guidance and then often they can you know, make a really great ad out of that. There are also services that will shoot video ads for you for cheap. Um, so as I said, there's a bunch of options there. The main thing is you're gonna have to do some research, find a great videographer or a production agency and get that built out. Also with e-commerce video ads, typically what we like to do is we like to have an actor in the video ad. So we like to have some sort of guide character or hero character. Uh, we don't like to just shoot an e-com ad with nobody on the screen, right? Like we like to have a person kind of guiding them through the video ad and showing them how this product works so they can build that trust with that person and feel comfortable. Another really good low budget option is upfluence.com and other influencer marketing platforms. You can often find YouTube influencers that are great at video and can shoot great ads and they'll do it for pretty cheap because they really want to monetize their expertise and they don't really know how to do that because you know they're trying to be influencers and it's pretty easy to find really good deals with influencers to just shoot video ads and you can also get it promoted to their audience, right? So that's always great if you have a product as well. Now, if you run a lead generation brand, it's the same story. You might need to find an actor and a videographer to shoot ads for, let's say, an insurance product, etc. And we actually have insurance clients we're scaling right now. So for this insurance clients, we're either using celebrities, which they have a lot of contracts with, so we have a lot of celebrity video ads, or we're using actors from websites like Backstage.com, Fiverr.com, etc. So that's kind of how you get the shooting part done. Now let's talk about the third part, which is the editing. So you wanna make sure you have a good editor on your team or know how to edit yourself because you're gonna to have to do some editing. You're obviously gonna to have to make sure the video ad flows well, but you also need to ensure that there are call to action arrows that tell the user where to click on, uh, on your call to action. So they can visually see that, okay, yeah, that's where the button is. Now, those are three big parts of the video production process. The first is the scripting, which is the, in my opinion, the easiest because you could do it in-house very easily. The second is the production, which is pretty hard because uh, the, the production side is actually requires a lot of work. You need to find a video agency, videographer, or an influencer. So typically influencers and freelance videographers are cheaper while production agencies are more expensive, but you can also get better results with them. And then the third part is actually figuring out the editing process and making sure that you know you can take these video ads and actually add in arrows, countdown timers, etc., to increase click-through rate and you can also remix these video ads and try different variations where you perhaps try different hooks, where you try adding in B-roll footage in certain places, and basically try to mix the videos up to add more variety in terms of the video types. And yeah, that's our system for how we script high converting video ad creatives on YouTube. Um, if you like this video and you want to learn more about our creative process and go way in depth into it, you can actually book a call with us to learn about our Lynx Digital YouTube Ads course where we go very deep into creative 
and also into optimization and every part of the process. So our creative module is like 12 videos long. So it's like this video times like 15. So really hoping you do that and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.